Hello everyone! Welcome to my latest Action Script game programming tutorial video. Uh, this one I know I said I was going to be covering combat and I even had this pretty little stage set up uh, to get ready for that. But first I think we should probably go over uh, something else before we get into that is um, we should probably get into saving, like actually saving to where the player can leave the flash, come back and their stuff will be saved. So if we actually go ahead and go to our action layer, we see we have our global variables of player name, attack, defense, speed, magic, all this stuff. Now what we want to do is we want to basically put all these variables into, I know, go away, uh, into basically a variable, one single variable, to where, which we can run a for loop through. And if, for those who don't know what a for loop is, is uh, this is a for loop, so for, uh, let's do variable x equals zero uh, x is less ooh, let's not use x let's just use double x double x is less than 10 x x plus plus that's a, your basic for loop um so it'll, it'll the for loop will help us uh save anything that we add to our uh, new variable a lot easier can you please go away Thank you. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to, uh, what do we, first it has to be a global variable just to be safe. And what do we want it to be? Well, let's just name it hero equals new object. Now what this does is this hero is now an object and that means this underscore global dot hero can now hold its own set of variables. So for instance, we can just type in hero in here and now the object hero now has a variable of player name. So if we just go ahead and do that for all our things, actually I'm just going to copy this, be lazy. Go like that, just like that. The only bad part is, is if you do this late in the production, uh, you'll have to change the variables everywhere. So this is why I'm kind of getting to it now that, whoops, that way we want to have to go back later. Let's check anywhere else. Uh, let's see. We just have movement speed here. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. We need to replace this. Anything that would normally be broken by the fact that we added it to an object. But don't worry. All this extra work will be well worth it. All right, so we have no more global variables that is tied right now to our uh, main variable. So what we want to do now is let's just make a little small button. Go ahead and copy that. We'll make it on this world area. Place in the bottom right. Just place some text on it. It'll say save. Let's go ahead and increase that a little bit. There we go. Now we have our save button. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that just reminded me. Seeing the code on the button. Now we need to add our hero dot. Hero dot. Oops, hero dot. And hero dot. And anything on our continue button? Nope. Okay. Wait, save name. I believe that's a function somewhere that we already actually made. Yep, okay, so that's all good. So, what we want to do now is, let me just take a look at my little cheat sheet. Okay. Is we need to create a new save object. And a say, uh, or not a sh save object, a shared object. And a shared object is basically a physical file that is put onto the uh, our player's computer in order to save data to it. So we'll just say variable save file equals new shared object. There it is. And then what we want the name of the shared object to be. So we'll just name it save underscore file. So there we go. Uh, let me take a look at my cheat sheet one last time. Okay. So whenever we save to an object, um, 
I just lost my train of thought, sorry. Whenever you save to an object, you're gonna basically almost like it's an object. So for instance, we would do save file dot. Now in this part, you would think, oh, all we would have to do is put in our, va let's say we wanted to save our magic. So save file dot magic equals underscore global dot hero dot magic. And you think that would be all fine and dandy. Well, what the actual thing is, is anything saved directly to the save file object will not be saved. It will not work. So what you have to actually do is add the dot data uh, object, or yeah, object. The save file dot data is where everything is actually stored within our shared object save file. So when we say save file dot data dot magic equals underscore global dot hero dot magic, and well then there we go. So what we want to do now is, as you see, code is kind of getting scrunched around here, and this might become a little difficult to differentiate later. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go File New, go to Action Script File, and we're going to go ahead and write a new Action Script. Um, we're going to make it a class. Um, a class file is basically a file that, um, that's the best way to put it, is a way of storing functions and variables to be later used as an object. When you use a class, you have to use it as an object. And this can actually be easily done later. So what actually we're not going to go ahead and do an object right now. We're just going to save it as a standard action script file. But we're just going to use this file, to, you know, kind of keep all of our code separated. So what we need to do is we need to create a new function called uh, save file and this needs to keep go away save uh, let's see save file god I'm terrible <laughs> okay we need to uh, put in front function save file uh, for right now we'll take no parameters and then there we go we have let's go ahead and save this my documents let me go into flash YouTube tutorial let's go ahead and save it in a folder called action script and we'll name it as save files or save file .as. okay so now to use it in our game what we have to do is after our stop we used import save file .as. and you don't want to put uh, semicolons after I don't know why sometimes it breaks code so I just tend to leave with import. I tend to leave uh, no semicolon at the end. Okay. So now we're using our save file. So what we want to do is want we just want to trace and see if we can use this. So trace code being reached. All right. So now if we can now if we go save file and hit in, control enter test our movie oh and we're getting an error somewhere okay I'm actually gonna open recent All right, I'm gonna kinda cheat I'm gonna go into my current game and see how I imported all these some of these just okay it's uh, hash sign include my bad Okay, so don't use import, use hash sign include. There we go. Now if we hit enter, and oh, that's right, it's not save file, it's under action script slash save file. Save, hit enter. There we go, code is being reached, so we know our function is able to work. If we hit generate stats, just make sure all this works, we still get our stats. Okay, so if we go ahead and go back to our code, and under save file there we go what we want to do is remember how we put all of our variables for a hero in an object well that was to help ease with the saving of files so uh, what we're gonna do I wish this would go away this is getting annoying what we want to do is it keeps throwing me off uh, my train of thought is I have to keep looking at this because it keeps okay 